automatic weather station is an equipment uh, that measures it, um, weather parameters and the, the weather parameters include um, rainfall, atmospheric pressure, it also measures temperature, uh, air temperature as well as soil temperature and the, it transmits the data via satellite to the to the database so um, and uh, the data is trans transmitted uh, at 10 minutes interval and uh, we do have a database that directly ingests the data that is transmitted from the automatic weather stations UNDP, through the SWAC project, we have been providing automatic weather stations to Solomon Island Meteorology Services. In terms of uh, looking at uh, improving the kind of med services that we provide, we are looking at expanding our, our automatic weather observation system. This would greatly improve our ability to, to observe weather around the country a bit more better than that we currently have, and this, this work project has really assisted us in, in, in doing that. There are four automatic weather stations procured and installed by the SWOC project. They are in Avuavu, Santa Ana, Afio, and uh, the fourth one is in Ferra. The other two automatic weather stations, which were procured by the National Disaster Management Office, will be installed in Mono, in the western part of the country, and Tikopia, which is in the eastern part of the country. And by SWAC providing automatic weather station to meteorology department, the department can get real-time data from selected places on climate and weather system. That would significantly contribute to the meteorology department's analytical capacity as well as early warning. Without the SWAC project, uh, we wouldn't have uh, an, an expansion of our automatic weather observation systems. Uh, the, this is so. If you take away SWAC project, we wouldn't ha have an expansion of a of our automatic weather stations uh, right throughout the country, and also automatic rain gauges. So, this SWAC project has really has greatly assisted us in uh, expanding our observation network, and by doing so as well, they have also given us a bit of capability in terms of not just forecasting, but also now casting. My role here is uh, to do the uh, uh, installation of the uh, automatic uh, weather stations and also the uh, uh, automatic uh, rain gauge and uh, I actually do the uh, initializing of the uh, uh, automatic uh, weather station and automatic uh, rain gauge here in my office by uh, linking the uh, automatic uh, weather station with the uh, satellite in here where there is an antenna outside where I, I can uh, connect it with the uh, AWS and also the ARG and then uh, initialize the uh, uh, automatic uh, weather station and these uh, automatic uh, rain gauges. From the uh, training and attachment uh, which I've pursued with the newer company in New Zealand, uh, I do calibration maintenance of the uh, automatic weather stations by myself and uh, installation of the automatic rain gauges. would need to understand better our climate and then from there we develop tailored products for the agriculture sector. The SWAC project has been linking climate change 
and food security. From that point of view, the automatic weather station AWS we have been providing has special features on food security. By collecting data of agriculture elements, that can also advise agriculture sector on the trends in the climate and what will be the trends, forthcoming trends. Such a kind of information can help farmers on the ground plan ahead on what types of crops they should plan and what is the harvest time, best harvest time for sowing as well as harvesting. We are now planning to work together with the Ministry of Agriculture to develop specific products that are tailored for the for the agriculture sector, for example, uh, on, on, on drought, for example, giving them uh, information about moisture levels, uh, as an example. But these are these are areas that we we, we are planning to go into, uh, and and work has already started, but it needs a bit more a bit more development. Eh? We need to work a, a bit more on that. But the important point here is that we are now sifting away from just providing weather services per se. Uh, we, we would like to make tailored products. This is from our climate services, so that uh, we can provide more uh, distinct products, drought warning, for example, moisture levels, soil moisture levels, for example, uh, just to help farmers uh, to plan ahead. Weather station here, him, him, very useful, especially in fellow area of and also the Goro Canal province, where I think. Any access in the world to the garden access to the lake find out where the garden can like look like, yeah. Or this kind of data, no matter accessible this one. Or him is for that. Me fella, especially when man travel or see him help him fella too, yeah. Like fella, case of honey, fella, like come back or say me fella, go through access find out where the lava will look like. So him help him me fella, and him help him for man lo 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 area lava too, yeah. By him indicating send him weather by him good weather, send by him bad weather. And through providing AWS by SWOC, we can in this way contribute to enhance the resilience of the people on the ground, linking the climate change and food security. <laughs>